Okay, hello beloveds. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. This is Sherry Mosley and we'll be doing our check-in for this beautiful new moon portal on February 11th, 2021. All right, so this new moon is quite profound. This new moon has a slew of planets and Aquarius coordinating with it strongly bringing in all of the new energies that are coming in for this age of Aquarius that the Great Conjunction began on the 21st. And this is the opening of the portal that is coming between now, um, passing through the 17th. There is a profound event as well that is shattering a lot of the no longer serving realities to move us all into higher realities. So this new moon is really ushering in all of the new energies. We have the sun, moon, Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury are all in Aquarius. And Mercury is retrograde. So this new moon is allowing us to see what needs to change and start doing it. So there may have been new things that have already come into your life, new people, um, maybe new inspirations, projects to do, new work to do, um, new relationships, um, new ways, habits of communicating with yourself, right? Way that, ways that you're treating yourself. So this new moon is really setting all of that off. And there may be an apprehension or fear or worry about doing that because you're not sure where it's going to lead. And that unknowing is really calling you to have a strong sense of trust and faith in the new energy that is coming in because the energy is so new, you will not be able to really know where you're going um, and in general we prefer to create the future from the present moment which is why <laughs> this transmission is quite important this month right um, I'm actually doing the extended transmissions as a online little mini retreat on um, and we met today at one o'clock on the 11th for the longer transmission, which was absolutely powerful and beautiful. I will place the link for that longer transmission below. It powerfully connects to the new frequencies that are coming in, aligns your soul path and your timelines, and brings in these new energies and helps you drop out all the fears that may be keeping you from aligning with and following through with what these new energies are encouraging you to do as part of your um, soul's plan and soul's alignment, right? So I will post the link for that below um, so that you can um, get the transmission replay. And now we're going to go ahead and connect for our little mini transmission of the new moon that is occurring now. Ketu shakataro kotu nekeshe kete akatana kashaku kotu kotu ne nekeshe kete kete atana no kotu kotu atakatana koshe koshe kete kete ana nekete ashakotu kotu na neke. Do not doubt who you were and who you are. You know where you are going. Kashakato kotu rekete kashaku no kotu kete akatana kata de koshe ke. Koshekete nekete katarar kutu kutu na katadeke te shete unuko nukoto na neke sheketa na kutu kutu na nekete kesheketa kutu na kata te te arakata na kasha kataroku koshoku ata eti ara oto te she eti ata neke. Trust that the new world that is unfolding before you is going to take you on a new adventure that you have been wanting. And preparing for. Katoru kotu anakate ehata ate ata. Hetara ataro utu toteshe te ata. 
teshe ete atanunu kutu ata eti antarere kiti atuana ne te teshe to atuana tuana ne taro hushe te asha teshe anna ne te kete asha to kuta esha tana ete kutu teshe ete anna ne she hasha to to ashe Toshe te anane shakato otoana ete atana ete anonoto toshe te te shakete katara uko toshe nenekete nenekete ko toshe te ekato ekato unuko to te shakatara akatana kato te te anenu koto nenekete katara uko to ane to neneke shake uko to te she ete ata atoana ata she ete ke ete ano. When going into uncharted territory of the depths that we are going to, in this Aquarian field of frequency, allowing new earth to ascend to its new highest place, this is not a time to try to know exactly where you are going, but to trust what is within and to align with that higher knowing. Ketau nuko te te edato tu ne de te ne te asha to kate te koto kesta karu uku hato koto ata nuko she ata koto ne ne she koto ko ata te she katu to she kete she koto ata ne ne ko ne koto she ne ke ato ko she kete ke she ke ato ne ke ke to no te to no koto she ke taru koto. Shakoto and a cate shoko, atta a catanoco, atatana cata a to cotu, kesha cataroco to. Even in these, those that are higher ascended already and in their highest alignment will be going into new higher paths as well as connections on this path to further your growth along your path. Katara uko, tataraka a koto. Kerane ke tua she te asha he sho tua tara he tu e tu ona ne tara uku tua te katana toshe ke te tiara uku toshe te a tu tu re she te e taro u tu e te ne tiki taro u tu she te atana te te ana tu she ke hatano he kano ku tu she. Koshe te ataro she ke te ataro uto e kara ukoto te nakato no ko ata e she ke e she ke ha to ko huto ata e to ata de e te ara uto to na te she te ata no ko to se te she to ukoshe koshe he ke a to ata ne e she te ana kate ro uto e te ara ato ana ne he ke e te. Know who you truly are and step forward into this, for there is no more space for holding back at this time. So there is a strong invitation with these new energies that it is really time to make the changes, to move forward into that which you know you need to be doing. It's time to do it. Whether it's in a huge big step or a little step forward, just taking whatever step you can that aligns you with that higher knowing that you need to make this change that you've been sitting on for so long. This is the time you have the energy behind you to support you with this. And the new energies are going to transform you into a way of even being without what you were previously relating to being and this was a lot of the clearing out that was occurring in 2020 that the conjunction then flipped the switch to that is no longer and this is the new that is coming in and so now with this new moon it's actually starting to really move forward into manifesting particularly in what is considered the material realm or the material dimensional plane so coming into the relationships, the job, the, the works, the, the work that you're doing, the um, day-to-day habits and things that you are doing for yourself to take care of yourself. All of these are the different aspects that things can be undergoing these changes. So 
Again, I highly recommend that you do the longer transmission. It is quite powerful. It is all through the Aqualorian Crystal and Light Healing and does include some Elohim light encoding as well, connecting to Ascended Master Jesus and Archangel Metatron to open up um, the dimensional portal that we connect to to do the transmission. And there are a lot of different uh, dimensional aspects that we go to, uh, but it's very high frequency. There are very high frequencies coming in for this uh, new moon portal, and it's going to be carrying out again through next week. So you can just get this transmission, or you can join us live for the other transmissions, or just sign up to get the replays of those transmissions as well to get you aligned and understanding where you are moving forward with all of this new energy that is coming in. We're in so many new energy cycles now um, after the conjunction. There's been so much that has dropped out that um, where we are going is completely reformed. Okay, there is also um, an invitation to those that are feeling very called to these higher energies and frequencies to join us in Kauai uh, end of April, starting April 27th for the Bringing in the New Light Retreat. And this is going to help us to further assimilate and ground in and download these new light frequencies uh, at the Rebirthing Vortex uh, located on Kauai, Hawaii. And also there is the Mount Shasta Retreat that will be happening um, towards the end of August, August 18th is when it starts, and that will be at Stuart Mineral Springs. If you feel like you are being called to step into your higher light work or on an awakening path, the Akashic Enlightenment trainings are great for that. Uh, there's levels one through three, and then uh, three introduces you to the Elohim Light Keeper initiations, and then you can step into being a reader whether you are doing verbal readings for people or creating artwork or however you are bringing the new light frequencies in to help people transform after you've gone through a transformation yourself. Uh, the other things that you can do are the um, Shamanic Akashic Record readings to help you clear out or get personal guidance as well as the Akashic Aura Light Language uh, attunements. These help you to become attuned to the light language frequencies yourself, opening you to higher dimensional connections. Okay, so these are all beautiful options. Of course, there's the traditional shamanic journey lessons that I offer if you feel very connected to the shamanic practices of connecting to your spirit guides and the star beings. That is also a great practice. If this is all very new to you, you, I suggest reading the Akashic Enlightenment book and or the Origins of Humanity book to get you started uh, into understanding all of that is going on at this time. And uh, finally, there is the Aqualorian Crystal and Light Healing attunements as well. And this is the 9D healing frequencies, very, very high frequency. Uh, and so these attunements are also available if you feel called to add that to your your healing tools that you are offering or using in the work that you're doing with others or that you feel called to work on it with yourself. All right, sending you all so much love and light during this beautiful, profound time. I hope that you are enjoying your journey and I'm sending you all so much love and light and bye for now.